Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Big Wooly, and today we're going to start my Minecraft 1.18 Let's Play. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we're gonna make a new world. Let's call it Big Wooly Let's Play. Uh, we want to put the difficulty on hard in case I uh, want to do some zombie villager conversions later on. Uh, let's take a look in here and leave the seed blank and just get a random seed. Uh, world type default. Yep, leave all those settings where they are, and let's go. All right, well, here we are. See, in the background over there, we got a savanna. Looks like plains over across the water. Is that a jungle? We're right on the edge of a jungle. Sweet. That means melons and jungle saplings and all kinds of fun stuff. All right, well, let's start this the same way you start pretty much every Minecraft world. Oh my gosh, look at that. Sunken shipwreck. All right, we're going to have good stuff. All right, let's get started by punching a tree. And before we go too far, I'm going to pull up the F3 menu here, and we're going to take a screenshot of my coordinates. Now, a lot of you are probably asking, what are the shaders I'm using? I am using Silder's Enhanced Default, and the only mod I have on the game is Optifine for the optimizations and the zoom. Um, so let's grab these spawn coordinates, snag a screenshot, and there we go. And uh, I kind of want to go check out this shipwreck. Ooh, sugar cane. Let's get it. And before we get too far, let's go grab that bamboo. That way we got some of that too. Wolves. Bamboo was up here. All right, that'll be enough. Come back and get some jungle saplings, but I want to go see what's in the shipwreck. Is that a donkey? <laughs> I mean, I guess we could make a boat just so that this is not super boring. First crafting table of the game. And a boat. And let's go ahead and make a couple of basic tools while we've got the crafting table out. An axe, pickaxe as well. That should be enough to get us started. We'll put you in one and you in two. And we'll break the crafting table. Take a look at this. And away we go. Come on, be something good in the shipwreck. We'll get a buried treasure map. That'll be good. And since this isn't hard, we're going to want to pretty quickly get focused on making sure we've got a bed for night one. All right, gunpowder, coal, potatoes, yes, early game farm and food source. And we'll take the suspicious stew. And since I get the feeling maybe we'll find somewhere to settle, we're going to steal this chest just to save on wood. All right, now there should be one other chest in here, right? Should be the one... In the captain's area. There should be. Alright, so this is the back of the boat, right? So this would be the, the, the like, captain's quarters. So there should be another one somewhere in here. Did it not generate? Oh, looks like we got a shipwreck with a single chest. Alright, maybe one of you guys in the comments will tell me where the other one might be, but for now, that was kind of a lackluster shipwreck. Alright, let's go exploring. So we're playing in 1.18.1 Caves and Cliffs update, and I definitely want to build around some of the new terrain. So we're going to see... If we can find ourselves either a cool cave or a cool cliff. Before we venture too far, though, let's see if we can find some sheep or a bed. Aha! 
Here, sheep. Look away, little sheep. That was brutal. Just murdered that sheep in front of its child. Alright, there we go. That bed secured. Makes me feel a lot better. Should have grabbed my boat before I ran too far. Um, let's go over this way to where this jungle meets the plains down here. Oh, there's a hole. Big hole? No, just a little hole. All right, we're back in the jungle. Melons, yes. All right. Once we find the villagers, we'll be able to do some trading. We can get melon farm going early on. Uh, are you a jungle tree? Yes. All right, let's cut down a few of these jungle trees to try and get some jungle saplings. Just in case we don't end up settling near here. I'm going to fill her up with my wool there. All right. All right, now these little ones are usually oak. Let's see. Are you oak or jungle? You just gave me a sapling. Yeah, you gave me an oak sapling with a jungle trunk. Come on, Minecraft. What's up with that? First jungle sapling. Cool. Let's go cut another one. I'd like to get at least four, because then we can build one of the big jungle trees, and those tend to give you more saplings when we, whenever we get where we're going. All right. Uh, let's do some pillaring up with this once again. Looks like we're going to need to get some food going. Can I get any apples or anything? Has it been ten minutes already? I don't think so. Feels like it's getting dark. The sun is getting low. All right, let's get our bed made. Uh, there we go. There we go. And for those of you that know me, this bed will become purple as soon as I can get the dyes, because that's my favorite color. Um, we're going to leave the crafting table here for right now, kind of make this our day one spot. Let's go check this first tree we cut down for saplings, which was right over here. Any saplings yet? Any more? Oak saplings. All right, we're up to two jungle saplings. All right, let's go ahead and just dig down right here. So we'll get us some stone, because we need to be able to cook that mutton. Hmm, hearing a skeleton might mean there's a cave nearby. Shouldn't have had any mobs spawn anywhere on the surface yet, because we haven't let it get dark. So... Uh, while we're down here, just so we don't create a spot for mobs to spawn, let's get some torches going. Throw one there. Then I'm going to grab a little bit more stone for some basic tools. Now that we've got our eight for our furnace. Alright, our first copper for the game, but we're going to need iron tools for that. Or not iron, stone tools for that, sorry. Okie dokie. Alright, back to the surface we go getting dark. Let's throw down this bed and sleep under the stars. All right, well day one was pretty successful. We looted a sunken ship. We're working on gathering some jungle saplings here so that we can move on from this biome and look for some new terrain generation. And we'll explore around here too, make sure that we're not missing out on something Amazing to build in. It looks like we got a bamboo forest over there, which could potentially mean pandas. Oh, and there's some cocoa. So we will get some of those. All right. How many jungle saplings are we up to? Five. Yes. Okay. All right. I want to get that copper. So let's get some stone tools going here. Stone pickaxe. Stone axe. I'm going to go ahead and make two stone pickaxes. Put this in here, and we're going to cook up that mutton. And let's go grab this coal, or this uh, cup. For those of you who have not played in 1.17 or 18 since the introduction of copper, it takes a lot of copper, raw copper, to make anything, anything at all. Alright, those are almost done. We have all the saplings we need for that, so... 
just kind of waiting on this to finish cooking. I mean, we could try this suspicious stew next time we're hungry, just for giggles. All right, before we run into the jungle, because I kind of want to go that way, I would like to go grab, ooh, blue flower. Okay, let's grab one of those. And then there's a red one. Just getting some food here. We can find us a red flower. There's a red flower and the turtles. All right, we'll be able to turn that bed purple next time we put the crafting table down. Let's go get a few acacia saplings too. All right, there's one. Let's run over to this next acacia and cut it down while the first one's decaying. All right, we got some acacia saplings. Let's make our purple dye so we can get these flowers out of our inventory. There we go. Bed, purple dye, purple bed. I'm going to leave that purple dye on the ground. Um, we're going to combine those two into sticks to get down to one wood type. Free up that inventory space. What else can we do to free up some inventory space? Uh, are we hungry yet? We're going to eat this suspicious too and see what happens. Hardcore would not be doing that. In just hard, we're going to do it. Um, while we're waiting on that decay, we could pillar up uh, and see, get a view of the terrain around us. So let's do that. Okay. That doesn't really show us that much more. Got a big ocean that way. And there's our shipwreck. And our spawn is right over there. Uh, let's go higher. We'll go cobblestone next. Okay, so that is a just standard, what do they call that? Moderate hills. Ooh, pumpkins. All right, I want to go that way over into the jungle and see what we find. But we will have to go grab those pumpkins first now, which keeps taking us farther from where I want to go. But we're going to grab those pumpkins for sure. All right. Four acacia saplings should be more than adequate. Let's go get this these pumpkins. Early game's all about getting getting resources together to set yourself up. So that's what we're doing here. And since it doesn't matter whether you take one or all of them, we're gonna take all of them. Ooh, there's a cave over here. Let's see if it's a new one. Got dripstone, maybe a lush cave. Alright, what do we got? Oh, that's that's disappointing. Some more copper, though. Uh, just two pieces. Some of you are probably going to want the seed information for the world I'm playing in. Uh, I probably won't give that out in the first couple episodes, just so there's nobody loading up the seed and telling me where everything is. But once we kind of get established and get going... I will gladly let you guys know what seed this is. So we're going to leave behind that little flower. Let's put this boat down. Let's get back over to that bamboo jungle that we saw a few minutes ago. Bamboo forest. Sorry. Sorry. Call things by their right names, Willie. Ooh, there are cows here, which are very good to have around for leather for enchanting tables and as a food source. And this was something I wanted to grab some of while we are here. Oh my goodness, look at that. Don't fall in there. It'll be the last mistake you make. Oh my goodness, what do we have here? Underground cave with some magma down there. This is kind of neat terrain generation right here, right on the edge of the jungle. Not exactly what I was looking for, but oh, maybe this is. I don't know. Break a few more blocks and that makes a cool waterfall. And that is glow lichen, which I didn't know could grow underwater. Looks like we're going to be coming to the end of day two as we get to the edge of this bamboo forest over here. So let's throw down the bed. Skip the baddies again see what we can find in day three. All right, 
this would be a great fuel source for early game too, being right near this. Um, just bring it over in buckets. Lava will smelt, what is it, a hundred items per bucket of lava? Not quite an infinite lava source, but if we can find some dripstone, we can definitely make an infinite lava source. All right. I think we got a panda in this bamboo forest. That'd be cool. Some pet pandas. There he is. There's one right there. All right. I think with this little lagoon thing over here, we don't have any of the like major caves that are, or cliffs. Here, but we've got some neat terrain generation, which I really like working with natural terrain. But we've got some little pokey cave holes around here that may take us deeper into some new terrain generation. So we have some potential for some of the new terrain down in there once we start exploring out. And we have a panda up the hill here, which hopefully would mean more than one. So I think we're going to work here. I think this is going to be where we start off really like this little lagoon and I like the waterfall so I think this is gonna be where we start to put down some roots don't know what we're gonna do with this yet but I think I'm gonna start with a basic little starter house or at least a place to put all my chests right up here overlooking the lagoon yep this is going to be it. All right, so we're going to clear off a little bit, make a little bit more flat of an area to get a starter house going up here on this cliff. And uh, we'll have somewhere to put our bed for episode one. Figure out where we're going to make our tree farm at that's not going to ruin the view in the shot every time. We'll get our acacia saplings down. If we're building in the jungle, we won't, huh, we won't need all those jungle saplings we waited on. So better safe than sorry. Alright, I know I probably should have made a shovel. Ooh, food. Alright, y'all ready? What? Put it in the comments below. Pause the video now. Write in the comments. What effect are we going to get from the suspicious stew? What did we get? What is that? Weakness! Ah, oh, boo. Fuck it yet, because we haven't found any iron, so we get to go around and break all these grass by hand. Alright, and this little low jungle tree, we've got to go. Alright, then uh, let's grab some of this dirt we've been getting. We're going to... Pop a couple blocks back in here. Try not make it too look too unnatural. What's up, sheep? What do y'all think? I think it's pretty cool. Gonna have a nice little view over this lagoon. Maybe we will break some of those blocks and make this waterfall thing going down into the, the chasm more detailed later on. And uh, so yeah, inventory's getting a little full. So let's do just outside of where the build's going to be for now. Let's get our crafting table and a furnace. And we'll go ahead and throw down this chest. All right, we won't need the boat right now. Uh, we'll put this food here. Um, let's get the rest of this chicken cooking. Let's use our wood tools as fuel. Put up the seeds that we have, the melons, the pumpkins, the potatoes, saplings. We're going to want to get those acacia down. I don't know if I'm going to build with them, but since you never know, we've got two of the chicken cooked. Let's go ahead and use that single oak plank as well. Bamboo we can put up. Kelp, feathers. Well, we need to get the sugar cane growing. Let's go down here and get our sugar cane planted. Probably going to have to put some string on some of those vines so we don't have to break those every time. Got another chicken. I don't really want to waste one. Ah, here's what we'll do we'll put a coal in here. And then, once this chicken is done cooking, we're going to throw in that cobblestone and we're just going to let it smelt as much of that stone as we can so we don't waste any coal. All right, so build palette. I have some jungle logs and some acacia. So let's go jungle log for like corner posts and acacia for accent colors. So we'll make all this acacia into planks. And then I think I want my door on 
this side. So we can have, we're going to have like a little porch down there, I think, eventually. So let's go right here and then right there. And that makes it one, two, three, four, five. All right, cool. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And on that block. All righty. Oh, getting dark. Gonna skip the baddies again. All right, and then to give the build a little depth, we're gonna bring the actual structure in a block from there. Yep, I'm gonna be using this as an accent color. We are gonna need to get some more of these acacia trees planted. All right, so, and then since our entrance is gonna be over here, let's get a couple of stairs going. Yeah, four should be enough. I kind of like the look of jungle doors. So let's make a jungle door. Let's go find somewhere to put down those acacia saplings. Maybe not right out. All right, so this is going to be the front door, looking that way. Let's go right over this little ridge here. That could have been bad. Another above ground lava pit. Oh my goodness. Lava everywhere. All right, yeah. This looks like a good spot to put some trees. Not going to lose any saplings into caves or anything. So we'll go one there, one there, one there, and one there. Uh, that one's too close. And there. Okay, so back to the house. Brown sheep. All right, this was going to be the front door. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that means one, two, three, four. Four. This is the center, and we're gonna do some little curly bits here, and then we're gonna go ahead and just ah, uh, we'll make some more in a minute. Now, on either side of the door, I'd really like some more jungle wood there, so let me go find another jungle tree to cut down. A few over here, so we're gonna uh, chop a chop a. Oh no. All right, I guess we're gonna go down in there a little. Let's go get that log, because we were actually harvesting it for a log. Oh my god, creepers! Creepers, creepers, creepers! Oh gosh, come on. I guess let's do this. All right, there's the first one. And we know there's another one in there, because we saw it. Did he see us? Yes, he did. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. All right, I ain't afraid of no creeper. You come here. Yeah, get wrecked. All right, gonna need to put some torches down there because that was scary. All right, look at this. How are those cocoa beans growing on dirt? Come on, Mojang, what's up with this? I couldn't put them there, but terrain generation can? Something wrong with that. All right, let's get some torches down in here. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but apparently in the new update, the light level needed to prevent mob spawns, oh my God, another creeper, is only one so we don't have to put near as many torches down to spawn proof an area as we used to all right so that should in theory spawn proof this whole cave we can double check it by making sure we don't have any block light levels below one and then we'll know if you know new rules are working uh when we come down here tomorrow and see if we die to creepers all right Gather some coal, because we are running a little low on that. Careful mining above your heads. If one of those above ground lava pools happens to be right above this, I could blow lava on my face. Which would make some of you happy, but wouldn't make me happy. Get this copper. I think we're going to use some copper accents on the build. Not sure yet, but, you know, it's always good to grab it. Any of this light level... It says five, but supposedly it's one in the new update. So, we will see. Any of these block light levels low? Four, three, two, ooh, there's a one. Okay, so let's put down a torch there. All right, cocoa beans. Definitely want to put some dirt in some of these, like, drop-throughs. Now that we know where the entrance to that is, let's break those vines. And as Whip would say, we should be double-dirting all this, but I'm not playing on a server with Whip, so doesn't really matter. Alright, got the jungle logs that I wanted. 
for the sides of the door frame. All right, so we're gonna go right here. Well, that's all the acacia, so we're gonna have to go cut some more of those down. Let's get our door in here. It's a little drafty right now, but we're getting started. Only nine more of these. I definitely need more acacia. Let's go see if they've grown. And then I think there was a beach over there. So we'll go over to that beach. Uh, we should have the stone cutter now for when we get some iron. So that'll be nice. We can turn this raw copper into raw copper blocks. Make it take up less space in our storage. Toss in these extra saplings, some more gunpowder. Keep that. Animals galore over here. It's like the Discovery Channel. Oh, coming up on the end of day four. So we can put our new bed in our house here. I think we're going to go right there. Yeah, sunset's going to be out the front porch. All right. I think this is going to, hopefully we're going to try and finish this little starter house. And that will bring us to the end of this episode. Let's go see if our trees have grown. I see one. Maybe some others will grow while we're here. If not, we could cheat it and we could make some bone meal. We'd have to make a composter first, but we can definitely get a little bit of bone meal going. All right, while we're waiting on that to grow, I meant to make a shovel. So let's run back to our crafting table and get ourselves a shovel or two. That way we can smelt up some glass. Uh, we don't have any iron to make a bucket yet, so that is kind of disappointing. We're going to have to go get some of those resources going soon. But let's grab two shovels, and we're going to get two stone shovels worth of glass. Uh, I don't know that I know how to do a time lapse, or that my uh, person who's going to be editing my videos does. But if possible, maybe we'll just get a sand annihilation montage going here. All right, let's go kill some sand. Did we get all of our sand? I believe so. All right, get some glass going for some windows. Did another tree grow? No. Did we get any more saplings? No. Well, that is not good. We didn't get one single sapling from that tree. Or did it despawn? I don't think it had enough time to despawn. And this is why you crit these things so they don't run away. Okay, back to the house. We'll see if we've got enough to finish the structure. All right, coal will smelt eight. So let's do 16 glass for now. Put our sand up, clay, make some bricks, seeds up. We'll keep the coal, feathers go away, the jungle logs. All right, let's turn those jungle logs into planks. Definitely not gonna be enough. Okay, so we'll put a window on this wall here. I think I want some windows here, which means I'm going to need to make some of those logs that have the pattern on the end, too. Should mean I can take this. I'll take this one, too. Start coming over. Let's grab this. And then I think you can do those in this crafting table. So if we go four there, that'll give me three of these. Cool. And then if I place it like that, pattern matches. Nice. There we go. Okay. So now when I make those a window, you won't be able to see the raw end of the log. All right. Getting there. Uh, we need some more acacias. Now I want some big windows on this wall so we can take these blocks out. I think we're going to do two double wide windows centered on this 
back wall with one block in the middle like that okay so we've got another tree that's grown we should be pretty close let's go grab this glass while we're waiting on daylight to run out heat to waste to coal to cook two more chicken but i'm gonna now we need to make some glass panes there we go And that's about all we can do there. We are about to break this stone axe, so let's go ahead and make one more. Hopefully we've got some acacia trees over there. Let's take a look. Do we see any? I don't see any growing yet. All right, let's make a composter so that we can get some bone meal from some of our biomatter. So we'll just put the composter here for now. And then we're going to grab, uh, what do we have that we can compost? We can compost. Let me turn a few of these into melon seeds. Let's go with like five or six. Okay. Put those back up. And then we can turn all of this into bone meal. Boy, those melon slices do not fill that up fast. We have two pumpkins. Turn the rest of these pumpkins into... Okay, so three bone meal. Come on, give me enough wood to finish my house. All right. Oh, all right, well, maybe this will do it. Or at least finish the walls. Really gonna need to go caving for some iron soon so that we can get a bucket, get some crops going. This tree grew right before our eyes. Okay, hopefully we get some more saplings out of these to replant. This definitely, definitely, definitely should be enough to at least finish the walls. All right, there's one more, so that puts us back at three trees. Hey, okay, we're gonna go work on the house while, oh, four trees, nice. Now we're back where we started. All right, we're gonna go work on the house while decays. Don't let me forget, chicken. Hey, hey, you look at me. Don't let me forget to come and get those saplings. Otherwise, your dinner. Okay, now, what do we want to do for a roof? Uh, I'm thinking something a little more flat. And uh, maybe we should change up the texture. Okay, I got some jungle slabs. Let's kind of just mock this up on, ouch, poor character's legs are broken. Temporary block, temporary block. We're gonna mock this up right here, with like five of these. And let's go see how that contrast is. Hmm, it's too, it's almost too peach. But I'm using a jungle door, so it ties it together. All right, we're going to roll with it. So we need a bunch of jungle slabs. This is probably not going to be enough. We'll see. Maybe. Now, can I move this over here and not have to break something to get on the roof? If I go from the bed to there, and then there. Oh, no, it doesn't work. bed's not full. Cool. We're going to go here, there. Uh, there. Oh, that's another one I can turn into planks if needed, or uh, slabs, sorry. So let's bring this across. That'll make this a nice little low roof. Alright, and I have run out of jungle slabs. See what we can do. We have to leave all those in to make it all right. So we didn't waste any there, but luckily there are plenty of jungle trees right out here. So real quick, gonna grab another one. break down our temporary thing here. This episode may have run a little long. Uh, we will see how it looks after the fact. 
but it's episode one. So steps to finish up the look out front. I think I want to go one wider than on the first tier. Not like that. I only have one torch. Let's make a couple others. And we're going to sleep through the night. We'll take a look at the house and wrap this up. All right, let's get a couple torches in here so we aren't surprised with mobs inside at home. All right, and this is going to bring our first episode to an end. Let's, uh, let's see how it looks. There we have it. You got an orange and jungle box for the beginning of episode one. I am not quite liking it. Definitely going to need to bring those logs around the door down further behind the steps. And then we're going to have to do some more detailing. But thanks for joining me. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode.